What are we if not slaves to this torment? This ranger of Kalthos defended her home from a scourge attack led by Arthas. She was killed on the battlefield, where she would be raised as an incorporeal banshee under the Death Knight's servitude. Sylvanas eventually regained her physical form and free will. She took to the woods and hid in the shadows and paralyzed Arthas with her poison arrows, intending to make him suffer as she did. Kalthazad, however, intervened at the last moment and saved Arthas from certain death. She recruited vast amounts of the recently free-willed undead, labeling them as the Forsaken. With their help, she was able to claim Lordaeron and set up the Undercity beneath its ruins, where she would ally with the Horde. Five years later, Sylvanas led her people to Northrim with the intent of killing Arthas. Upon the Lich King's defeat, without a purpose, Sylvanas cast herself to her death. The Valkyrie would make a pact with Sylvanas to keep her alive, taking her place in the event she dies again. They would also allow her to revive the dead to add to the numbers of the Forsaken, a power needed due to their inability to procreate. Upon Fulgen's death, he would proclaim Sylvanas as the new Warchief of the Horde. Sylvanas obtained a Cursed Lantern, which she would use to bind a year, the Goddess Queen of the Valkyrie, to her will. With this power, the Forsaken race will never die out. Again, Greymane, however, interrupted her plans and destroyed the Cursed Lantern before she could finish. Sylvanas' plan may have been thwarted, but she would never give up on her quest to secure a future for herself and the Forsaken.